Hello everyone. I am Rajesh Palaparthi. We are going to learn what you mean by poverty in this video and what are the different types of uh, poverty indicators and who are the actually poor and need for poverty estimation and different types of poverty. Let us learn a few important concepts. So of all one by one. Poverty is a state or condition in which a person or a community lacks the financial resources. This is a, where they plan to estimate. They are lacking certain financial resources along with essential some basic requirements. So some minimum standard of living. So here poverty means the level of employment is low that basic human needs cannot be met. So people are poor, they are not able to uh, meet their requirements because they lack the financial resources. So their income is low because employment is also low. All these cause and consequences lead a person, a community is in poor situation. Let's see the definition of the World Bank. Is the poverty is defined as deprivation in well-being and the comprises many dimensions. It includes low income and the inability to acquire the basic goods and services necessary for survival with dignity. So people are, are lacking, they are depriving certain basic requirements for their survival and to maintain their dignity. So it is a deprivation of all necessities for the life sustainability, maintain their dignity and that's called as the poverty. According to United Nations, fundamentally, poverty is a denial of choices and opportunities. So denying, they are not in depriving and here denying. A violation of human dignity, it means lack of basic capacity to participate effectively in society. See, there is some important things we go and say, it is a Denial of choices. A poor person is, you don't have many choices, you don't have many opportunities, and here they violating the human dignity. Dignity. It means, once again, so it all means he is unable to participate in any kind of activity, especially economic activity. Now we'll see the, what is the statement given by Jawaharlal Nehru. While addressing the Constituent Assembly in 1947, Jawaharlal Nehru said, This achievement, that is independence, is but a step and opening of opportunity to the great triumphs and achievements that awaits us, the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunities. See here, soon after independence, in the Constituent Assembly, this was the statement given. And again, of course, so it is an one thing providing equal, oppor equal opportunity to all the people, that's what they mean. And also try to bring in them equal status, all uh, different class of society. But we need to know where we stand today. That's what the question raised by Nehru. Poverty is not only a challenge for India, as more than one fifth of world people live in India alone. See, this is a very uh, thing, more than one fifth. But for the world, where more than 260 people are, million people are not able to meet their basic needs. See, one fifth of world population is lives in India, and more concentration of poverty. Poor people also is India. So 
here in simple you can say it is a some kind of situation that people want to escape they don't want to retain they want to escape so poverty is called to action for the poor and the wealthy alike are called to change so many more have enough to eat so what are the basic requirements adequate shelter access to education and health protection for from violence so and wise what happens in their communities so when these are met so that is where the achievement of the uh, real independence in india that's what the statement are given by now so now let's see what are the poverty indicators so now the level of income and the consumption the level of income is very high and the good consumption standards that shows they are good or else this income and consumption is in inversely which shows there is a poverty and social indicators in socially they have been very good status that is also shows the poverty or non poverty so vulnerability of risk who has impacted much and who is having have socio political access if the people are depriving to access political social movement then will say this uh, they are in the poverty condition so then so who are the poor so as we see that one daily there is a card vendors who men who string plus rack pickers so and these people who possess very few assets so and these people also live in a kacha huts and uh, you can say that one uh, many people in the rural area are landless and even if they possess a land it is only a dry land not the wet land so means they only depend on rain so when rain or monsoon fails once again this uh, poor its remain poor and that is what they deprive condition and a part of that so even people don't have meals two meals a day and many we can find the starvation and hunger and these people lacking literacy and some skills where they can able to uh, gainfully employed and they can earn something and because of this they have a very limited opportunities and these people also face unstable employment of course they are not skilled so they are employment also unstable and of course they don't have employment there is a malnutrition and ill health and of course disability serious illness are uh, that make them totally weak and there is a evidence of extreme gender inequality in participation of gainful employment among the poor the reason why is that so they are very poor and they are treated there is a inequality so especially females they are not equally treated though they are working hard uh, due to poverty due to some educational and poverty background they are not treated equally and some scholars are to that uh the poor identified poor on their occupation and the ownership of the assets so and we know that one in a rural poor it is a mainly landless agriculture labors and people are cultivating with a very small land holdings and people are engaged in variety of non agricultural activities and jobs and tenant cultivators with the small land holdings and people will say in urban also it just on overflow of the rural poor so here is a more poor existed in the rural area so they are unable to meet their basic requirements they are migrating to the urban areas for what for alternative livelihood as a seeking for alternative livelihood in urban areas that's why he, some scholars argue that urban poor is nothing but just an overflow of rural area now what are the why we need to estimate 
the poverty so here some important argument are there in favor of the why poverty should be estimated what are the reasons here impact of welfare schemes so you know that one it is not for a academic purpose is not an just important thing for learning what is a poverty and again it is very important for the government to make a certain kind of policies especially we will say that one social welfare program that is required for to eliminate poverty at its grassroots level so government it is very important then again bpl to conduct a bpl census by the ministry of rural development along with partnership of the state so why these are conducting to identify the poor households so that they can effectively implement the welfare scheme so under why we need so poverty elimination there is another required argument in favor of the poverty estimation is that poverty estimate in the form of poverty line are used to formulate poor centric poverty elimination plans see here there is a poor people are there along the poor people there is a eliminating the poverty so that is where the things and again at last in favor of the need for estimating the poverty is that it pays the wave of poverty elimination so it prepares the ground for just and equitable society to make it to bring some constitutional requirements so that they can make a some equitable society and to make justification for all the rich and poor equally that is the why that is the very reason so they are they are estimating the poverty so what are the types of poverty here different types of poverty we going to learn what is here absolute poverty relative poverty and chronic poverty so absolute poverty a consumption expenditure of person not sufficient to maintain the minimum acceptable level of living as per the national standard see people are consuming but their standard at the national level is not the same so it is uh, expressed in a physical quantity of cereals pulses uh, milk etc etc so these people they are consuming but it is not at the national standards that is called as a absolute poverty it was introduced in 1990 so the dollar a dollar a day so it is measured an absolute poverty in by the standard of world poorest countries here approximately some 100 countries they measure so in that they try to uh, measuring so what is that according to the world bank reset it is 1.90 dollar per day those who are consuming less than this they are considered as the poor and relative poverty so it is a relation to the level of income see people are earning income but comparatively relatively they are somewhat the subsistence is low treated as a relative or in comparison to the country to different countries or different class of people having high level of subsistence so it is a simply measure of income inequality so here in this we can learn that we will know some of the concept in detail forthcoming uh, videos and chronic poverty at last people experience deprivation of many years in many a years there is a continuous generation they are experience they depriving many uh, many social uh, many political and many aspects they are lacking so sometimes their entire lives and this poverty even pass to the next generation so generation to generation that remains and it is again continuing the poverty now we'll see 
what are the categorization of the poverty so categorizing poverty there are many ways that are categorize the poverty so in one way it is always poor and some people will say usually poor and who sometimes have little money or uh, grouped as a chronic poor so these people also uh, kind of casual poor so then again another group uh, uh, are there who is regularly moving in and out of the poverty and occasionally poor or sometimes there is a transient they are coming in and out of the poverty and another one will say that one they never poor or not so this can understand with the help of the uh, diagram so here is a poverty line so poverty line again divides two different things so here as the dividing so poor and non poor here it is and below and all will say that one poor people and above are non poor so what do you mean by poverty line is the level of income to meet the minimum living standards so it is the level of income some level of income as they to lead their life to live their livelihood so it is the amount of the money which is required for a person to meet his or uh, basic needs so to buy the goods and services to provide her basic welfare so and again this poverty line it depends it de it is changes from country to country and according to the definition which is a country the very idea of the poverty now here uh, we'll say that one here the very first thing always poor see this is the minimum standard money required they are remain poor and usually poor they sometimes they going up maybe people are engaged in agriculture activities they are sometimes rich when the good monsoon and uh, earning poor it is sometimes they going in in poor out of poor in poor and out of poor this is a moving in and out so sometimes occasionally poor some people also they measure as that see here almost all the observation period of time in a the year there is a rich only only occasionally due to some reason maybe flood maybe drought condition some occasionally then they are poor condition and here in the last diagram explains they are never poor see there is out of they are very good rich they are standard also very good so these are the way they are categorized they poor so uh, thank you for all watching we we'll meet again another new concept of poverty thank you